Demonstrators gather day after day at Syntagma Square in Athens to make their opinions heard. Greeks have seen their income plummet in recent times, and yet the country's mountain of debt keeps growing. And there's no end in sight. Economists and politicians are split. Some believe Europe should continue to pour in billions to stave off bankruptcy, while others advocate debt restructuring, where creditors would have to forego part of their money. Debt restructuring would allow Greece to breathe again. Right now, it's laboring under extremely high interest rates. It's paying loads of interest, and that's money which Greece isn't benefiting from. Debt restructuring has dramatic implications also for Athens. Greek banks would become insolvent and need rescuing. That would cost a lot. A decision to restructure Greek debt would undoubtedly trigger a run on the banks. Everyone would want to rescue their savings. Banks could collapse overnight. The move could also spell trouble for financial institutions in other European countries, particularly those that are still reeling from the financial crisis. Others were able to shed some of their Greek government bonds before things got this bad. Right now there's virtually no market for Greek government bonds, because the rating agencies have drastically downgraded Athens' credit rating even putting it behind many emerging and developing economies like Pakistan or Jamaica. Until now, banks have bought Greek bonds, keeping the government solvent. They in turn passed on some of them to the European Central Bank as collateral for their loans. But if Athens' debt is restructured, the country could end up with a D or default rating. Then the ECB would no longer be able to accept Greek bonds, and Athens would have no way of raising money. It's the uncertainty that's panicking the markets. When the politicians clarify their course of action, the markets will calm down. They'll say, OK, if the rescue fund is buying up these government bonds, debt restructuring is not a risk, so we can buy them too. We're not rescuing Greece. Greece is doing really badly. They've made their mistakes in the past, but it's the financial institutions that we're rescuing again. The banks who've gambled away their money and are getting off scot-free at our expense, and the expense of ordinary Greeks. And there are some who even stand to gain from the crisis, because the IMF and the European donors are demanding that Athens sell off state assets. The sales need to raise 50 billion euros by 2015, so the pressure is on. For investors, there's the chance of scoring a few bargains, while the Greek state stands only to lose. Clearly, Greece does have to tighten up its administration and taxation and clean up its act. But these are long-term issues. You're not going to solve the problem by squandering state assets. The austerity measures were far too short-term and far too extreme. That kind of action has massive macroeconomic repercussions. The economy nosedives, and that's exactly what's happened. It's economically and politically very damaging. Many feel the burden being placed on Greece is too great. Polls show around half the population opposes the latest austerity measures, leaving the Greek government in a tough position.